Hello my dear students, I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. Those who are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I will be discussing uh, how to derive and mean and standard deviation for the binomial distribution. So they will be asking the question to find the mean and the standard deviation of the binomial distribution. For that, we need to go with uh, uh, known definition by using uh, the definition of binomial distribution p of x can be defined as n c x p power x into q power n minus x then mu is defined as we know the mean of any probability function is given by summation x equal to 0 to n summation x equal to 0 to n x into probability function that is p of x x into p of x then we know what is p of x just now we have defined what is p of x substitute that p of x in place of p of x n c x p power x into q power n minus x so what is n c x you know the definition of combinatorix so we can write n c x can be written as n factorial divided by n minus x factorial into x factorial into p power x into q power n minus x multiplied by x so under uh, summation as x is running from 0 to n x value is running from 0 to n now i am simplifying this x factorial i can write x factorial as uh, as you know uh, n factorial can be written as what 1 into 2 into 3 into so on up to n minus 1 into n this is what called as n factorial right so if i consider up to n minus 1 terms I can write this as n minus 1 factorial into n. So, in the same manner, I am going to write x factorial as x into x minus 1 factorial. I am writing x factorial as what? x into x minus 1 factorial. So, therefore, in the numerator, we have the term called x. In the denominator also, I got x. So, these two terms get cancelled. You are left out with the, these values. And now, we can observe that there is a shortage of one term so that for that reason x will be summation x equal to 1 to n x equal to 1 to n if i put 1 minus 1 that becomes what 0 factorial so i will express all the remaining terms in terms of x minus 1 wherever i have x i will express that as what x minus 1 and also n should be also expressed as n minus 1 so for that reason, I will uh, first uh, consider the numerator. n factorial can be written as n into n minus 1 factorial. n into n minus 1 factorial divided by, I can rewrite this n minus x factorial as n minus 1. I am writing n minus 1 minus of x minus 1. So, if you remove the bracket n minus 1 minus x minus into minus plus 1 so you are going to get left out with what n minus x itself that is what n minus x can be expressed as what n minus 1 minus of x minus 1 factorial into x minus 1 factorial similarly multiply and divide by p in the uh, term called p power x so i am going to get p into p power x minus 1 into q power as i told n minus x can be written as what n minus 1 minus of x minus 1 that is what i have written here in place of n minus x now i can take out the constant term called n and p as n and p are independent of x i can i can pull out that term so i have left out with n p summation x runs from 1 to n n minus 1 factorial divided by n minus 1 minus of x minus 1 factorial into x minus 1 factorial into p power x minus 1 into q power n minus 1 minus of x minus 1. So, now if I observe the definition, if I observe this term, so I can write this as what? n c x as I know the definition of n c x as is what? n factorial divided by n minus x factorial into x factorial in place of n what i have n minus 1 in place of x what i have x minus 1 so for that reason i can write this as by combinatorial definition n minus 1 c x minus 1 
n minus 1 c x minus 1 into p power x minus 1 into q power n minus 1 minus of x minus 1. So, it will be of the form a binomial expansion called p plus q. Here, I can consider this value as p and q power p plus q power n minus 1 expansion. This is of the form called as binomial expansion of the form a plus b whole power n. So, once we came to know that uh, this is of the form a binomial expansion, we can express this as what? p plus q whole power n minus 1. So, as we know that uh, probability of uh, success and uh, sum of uh, probabilities of success and failure will be always equal to 1, knowing that value. So, p plus q will be 1, 1 power n minus 1 will be what? 1 itself that will be multiplied with n p. So, you are going to get mu value as mean is equal to n p, mean equal to n p. So, now after finding out mean, let us move on to finding variance. How to find out variance? So, we have a formula. So, summation as we know how to find mean. So, mean for that mean what we consider summation n runs from 0, x runs from 0 to n, x into p of x, right? Similarly, you should know this definition since uh, I will be uh, taking this definition for uh, fi while finding variance also. So, for that reason, you should know the definition of mean. So, now if we come to variance, we can write that as a summation x equal to 0 to n x square into p of x minus mu square. This is the standard form of expressing variance. Now, I will express x square as, I can write x, uh, x square, I can write x square as what? x into x. x into x will be called x square. After coming to know that uh, x square can be written as x into x, for this I will go with just subtract by x and add by x, you will get back with x square itself, right? So, from these two terms, I can take out x common, you are left out with x minus 1 plus x. So, finally, I will express x square as what? x into x minus 1 plus x. If I expand, I will get back with x square itself. So, I can express x square as what? x into x minus 1 x into x minus 1 plus x times of p power x minus mu square. Then next I will expand with the p of x along p of x. I am going to get summation x into x minus 1 p of x plus summation x into p of x. What is summation x into p of x? I just know I told you to remember this formula that is nothing but what mean that is nothing but mean mu. So, that is what I have represented and p of x is what according to binomial distribution uh, the p of x definition is n c x p power x q power n minus x that is what I have substituted then uh, apply the definition of combinatorics n c x can be written as n factorial divided by n minus x factorial into x factorial into p power x into q power n minus x then further x factorial can be expressed as what? 1, 2, 3, 4, up, etc. up to n uh, as I am considering x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 1 into x. This is what called as x factorial, right? So, up to here, this will be named as x minus 2 factorial. You are going to left out with x minus 1 into x. So, I will rewrite uh, x factorial. I will rewrite x factorial as what? x minus 2 factorial into x minus 1 into x minus 1. In the numerator, I can observe the same term and I can cancel in the denominator. Therefore, you are going to left out with x minus 2 factorial. x factorial becomes what? x minus 2 factorial. Now, I need to express all the terms of x as x minus 2 and n as n minus 2. So, that is why x starts from 2 to n. x starts from 2 to n. So, I can rewrite n factorial as what? n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 factorial. Similarly, n minus x factorial can be written as what? n minus 2 minus of x minus 2. By multiplying negative sign inside, 2 to get cancelled, you are going to left out with n minus x itself. So, I can express n minus x as what? n minus 2 minus of x minus 2 factorial into x minus 2 factorial. 
into multiply and divide by p square for p power x. I can get p square into p power x minus 2 into q power x plus n minus x as it is what I said. So, we are going to get q power n minus 2 minus of x minus 2 plus mu minus mu square plus mu minus mu square. So, now simplifying this, we are going to get as these terms are independent of x, we can take out that term outside the summation. We are left out with the summation under summation, we are left out with n minus 2 factorial divided by n minus 2 minus of x minus 2 factorial into x minus 2 factorial into p power x minus 2 into q power n minus 2 minus of x minus 2 plus mu minus mu square. So, we can come to know the conclusion. It is of the form binomial expansion out to the power n minus 2. So, I will write that as p plus q whole power n minus 2. As you know the definition p plus q is equal to 1. So, this value terminates to 1. You are left out with what? n into n minus 1 p square plus mu minus mu square. So, but according to just now we have find out what is mean. Mean is nothing but n p. Substitute that value. Mean is nothing but n p minus mu square becomes n p whole square. n p whole square can be written as n square p square and multiply this n into n n square into p square n square p square minus n into minus 1 is minus n into p square. So, minus n p square plus n p minus n square p square. So, here n square p square n square p square get cancelled as we have opposite sign. So, after getting cancel on uh, cancelling those two terms, you are left out with what? Positive ter term n p minus n p square taking n p common you are left out with 1 minus p. So, what is 1 minus p according to the definition? So, it is nothing but q. So, finally variance is given by what is the formula for variance of binomial distribution n p q. Mean is given by n p and variance is given by n p q. This is how to derive the mean and variance of binomial distribution. Dear students, if you like this video, Kindly share this video with your friends and do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Finally, press like button. I thank you all for watching this video.